So I have the three starter kits. I'm playing, I played through one, now I'm doing two, picking the ones that look interesting, probably more than anything. And going up to three at some point, some tanks and stuff. But I'm videoing it to make myself work on being correct with the rules. And then if, see, if anybody watches it and sees wrong things, they can let me know. ASL starter kit scenario 15. American set up first, Germans move first. These are third turn reinforcements. On map W and the K line, the Germans set up east and the Americans set up west. And they're set up first and they have to protect within two hexes of the star on S6. So the Germans have to take all the buildings within two hexes of S6. And there could be not no good order multi-man counter Americans in those at the end of the turn to win. So here's the American setup. Everything's in a building or woods except for this gun. This is in the woods there. I don't know if that's the best spot I could come up with. And as soon as I'm setting up the Germans, I'm sure I'll want to change a lot of stuff here, but I won't. I will just set up the Germans now. K-line, east, and they have to be on level one or the brown. Oh, it's always good to look at the victory conditions four or five times. So you make sure you know what the game's about. So within two hexes of S6. So that's the star. And the Germans have set up on level one. All these units are there. And all these units are in that one hex. So I figure I can get some shots off. Initially, maybe get rid of these guys and then run forward a little bit, but we'll see. So I looked for the rule and I can't find it, but I know you can break down 10% of your squads into smaller half squads. So that's what I did with this 447. So that changed. So Germans will now move. So end of German movement, turn one, did some prep fires, little bit of damage, but very little joy there. And then I moved up, lost the half squad here, got blown away. This guy survived and lots of DMs for me to retreat with and then I'll advance. So end of German turn one, the mortar is acquired a little bit there and the gun has acquired a little bit there. That's The mortar is a gun, it's because it's a, it's a big mortar. So it acquires area fire. And I managed to pull back my DMs to get rallied, but uh, not over there. So here's the end of the American movement on turn one. Uh, reactive fire got a good shot off there, but they passed. And it was just a pin check. So that's about it. So I ran back, running away, took another shot here, but nothing happens. Pin this guy. And then lose this guy. Right, and they'll die, but whatever. Okay.
So end of movement, American turn one. So end of American turn one and the end of turn one. Uh, this guy got off an amazing shot over to here and broke that guy who ran back to there. Other than that, the Americans ran away. This guy survived just all kinds of stuff. Still there. I didn't think he would be there at this point. So, German turn two. Next. Or right now. Okay, so we are at the end of the movement phase of the Germans on turn two. Uh, this guy survived all kinds of stuff again. It's just a hero unit. If we had hero markers, just didn't make it. Uh, this guy rolled a 12, of course, firing at him. Broke his gun. And I think, does that eliminate it? Well, it says 12. I'm not sure about this one. But this one also rolled a 12 when it was firing on the infantry fire table. And it says, uh, in either case, where does it say in either case? In either case, original to hit or infantry fire table die roll equals to the original breakdown number as results in its permanent removal. So a 12 is pretty much a mortars, and then it's 11 there, right? So that's gone. And I guess... I'll leave that machine gun because I'm not sure. So this guy broke. He's going to have to run away from this machine gun. And we just advanced a little bit up there. So these guys rallied super good down there. They're rolling threes and fours for their rallies. So these 12s are making up for it, I guess. Okay. End of German turn two. Lost that mortar. Uh, the LMG recovered. So we've got five more turns left to take all these buildings. So I just need to keep, the Germans need to keep moving up. And the Americans got to hold that building at the end or some building. End of American movement, turn two. Uh, this one broke again, and it ELR'd, but since it's already down as far as you can break it, it just stays broken and doesn't lose any more st uh, steps. And then I fired a lot of prep, broke my 57 millimeter. Didn't do much anywhere except for that guy. <laughs> 